two horsepower right off the gate. And we put a governor on it, so hopefully this is gonna be fast enough, but the top speed is 202 miles an hour. You can really move on this. If you wanna do zero to 60, you can, in just 3.6 seconds, and a quarter mile, and 11.7 seconds. But this V10 is actually smaller than the traditional V8, and probably weighs about as much as a, a standard V6. And again, this is a V10 with 10 individual throttle bodies, 40 valves made out of pure titanium that is housed underneath this hood. The remarkable thing about this engine though, is it will redline at 9,000 RPMs in just over half a second. So just to give you a little wow. bit of perspective, I'm, I'm the gearhead, uh. I know you know what I'm talking about. You turn the engine on, it's in neutral, you hit the gas to rev it to give that exhaust sound to show off, it's actually doing 9,000 revolutions in just over half a second. So 9,000 RPM in just half a second. Absolutely amazing, powerful engine. I'm gonna pop the hood. There you go. And you'll see the two cold air intakes, the two chimney stacks, and those little oil caps right there. Those are two oil filter caps. This does not have a traditional oil pan because one, the engine sits too low, and two, this vehicle, 202 miles an hour, but it is capable of doing a 1G turn on the Fuji Motor Raceway. If you had a traditional engine that uh, had the oil pan and you're trying to do that 1G turn, all that oil will get sloshed to one side, from side to side, and it's not pumping throughout the system. And guess what, there goes your V10, that, uh, that 9,000 RPM. So we put two oil sub pumps, dry oil sub pumps, that continually pump oil throughout this engine. And that's why this vehicle can do that 1G turn. That's why it can do 0 to 16, 3.6. This vehicle can actually do a 1.05 lateral G. So from zero to start, that's actually putting a pressure of uh, 1.05 lateral Gs. Very powerful stuff going on here. 65% of this entire vehicle is made purely out of carbon fiber, not of great reinforced polymer. This carbon fiber, is so strong that this is called the A-pillar frame. This A-pillar frame, 99% of all vehicles is made out of steel, but this is pure carbon fiber, and it can be up to 11 layers thick. Thick. And perfect example, see the woven right here on the door panel, we even incorporated carbon fiber on the steering wheel. The reason we sliced off that steering wheel on the bottom, faster response when you go around the corner, it'll come back to zero degrees as fast as possible so you can get prepared for the next corner. Perfect opportunity to see the carbon fiber. A pillar frame carbon fiber, this entire cocoon, this entire cabin is made purely out of carbon fiber. I've seen the photos where we have to bake this vehicle in the raw form of the carbon fiber and the oven, and the oven is about the size of this pillar. It is gigantic. So very expensive stuff, very expensive to make. At about 50 miles an hour, this is what's gonna happen automatically. This rear spoiler is gonna pop up. And you can do it manually as I'm gonna do it now. So at about 50 miles an hour, that's gonna happen. And what that does is it will produce about 800 pounds of additional downforce back here. So believe me, 202 miles an hour, you want as much stability as possible. So this pops up, 800 pounds of downforce back here. And since I'm back here, I'll point these out. These black mesh grill back here, radiators are mounted in the back. Not in the front, most radiators are in front of the engine. Radiators are actually back here. And the whole system starts with the front though. If you follow this line, it literally channels this air. These grooves on the side of the mirrors push that air into the vehicle. These massive scoops here scoop up the air and then it blows out all the hot air out to cool the radiators back here. So we put two radiators rear mounted as well as a six speed automatic sequential gearbox. It's a rear wheel drive system folks. So a six speed with the torque tube back here and because the radiators, transmission, 12 volt battery, windshield washer fluid, everything is back here, most of the weight is in the back, even though the engine is in the front. That just shows you how small and how compact that is. 52% of the weight is back here, 48% of the weight is in the front, which makes it ideal because the center of gravity sits right on the driver's chest. I'm gonna put this down. So, right on the driver's chest is where the center of gravity sits, and that is very important because, again, 1G turn pops out at 202 miles an hour, and that 202 is governed. So, in theory, you can go faster, but we did put a regulator on it of how fast it goes. 
Inside the cabinet, if you look, the pedals, they are actually forged out of a single plate of aluminum and hinged at the bottom, racing inspired. You have boistered seats, you have an airbag integrated into the seat belt, carbon fiber steering column, four drive modes, and of course you have seven shift points. You can change how it shifts. You can do a manual on the paddle shifters, but you can change how fast it shifts up to two one hundredths of, or one hundredth of a second. So, very, very technical stuff going on. And again, we spent nearly 10 years in the making to get this out to the public to you folks, so we're gonna put a lot into it. What's the cost? What is the cost? That's a great question. The Lexus Fuji Apex, 500 worldwide, only about 170 are coming here to the United States. About a third. And there are a few available folks. Starting price, $375,000. Out of the 500 worldwide, 50 special edition, Nurburgring edition, we're gonna hand build. They start at 425, 425. But this one, the way it sits, will start at 375. Now, here's the other thing about the LFA. Once we hand build this, the last 500, we will never make another one of these ever again. So we are very committed to that 500 uh, number, 170 or so to the United States, and that's it. Be the fact that you're going to spend a good chunk of change on it, we are going to build this to whatever you want. 10 standard colors, 30 customizable colors, 12 different colors for the interior, leather, Alcantara, you can choose the color of the stitching, the rims, three finishes, the calipers, six different colors, and you can pretty much make it in any combination you want, and we will hand build it about 20 months for the next two and a half years. And out of the 500 worldwide, believe me, a great handful, well over 80% are sold. So that tells you, this Paris Hilton has hers. Very lucky. If you just want the brochure on the Lexus Fuji Apex or the LFA, let me know. I will send that out to you right away. I have an uh, iPad. Melanie's back there. Cynthia's back there. We can send that information out to you right away. Other than that, I'm going to turn on some music because this has got the Mark Levinson sound system. If you're a fan of Lexus, you folks know what Mark Levinson is all about. It's our premier here. sound system. We have and sound system in yours. This is uh, certainly capable of producing a great sound system as well as the engine, the way it sounds. Thank you for stopping by here at the Lexus Display. We certainly appreciate your presence. Hopefully uh, you feel welcome here. If you have any questions, let me know. I'm Zach, I'm a product specialist with Lexus as well, uh, as with the LFA. And uh, any questions, let us know. And thank you for stopping by. Come on, start it up. You can clap if you want, thanks. <laughs> hey, can you turn it on? I cannot, because it's uh, disconnected. So okay. there's no way to actually turn it on. I got you.